let's just say you want to purchase something on Timu. You add everything to your cart and just as you're about to buy, you realize that, oh my God, these platforms do not accept mobile money yet. And then you need a credit card to make the payment or proceed with your purchase. Now, this does not only apply to Timu. This also applies to websites like AliExpress as well and other subscription services on the internet like Netflix, Apple Music, Spotify, and basically anything else you'd want to subscribe to online that requires you to make payments with a credit card now already most platforms in the country accept mobile money and so you can just use the app and then get a direct debit alert and then you input your pin and you're good to go but then without a credit card it would be a challenge and so in this video i'm not going to show you one not two in this video i'm actually going to show you three ways of creating and using a virtual card just with your momo my name is api amera let's get right into it all right so let's jump straight in now before i proceed in showing you the necessary steps into getting a virtual card when we say a virtual card a virtual card simply is a digital form of a credit card and so we have the normal credit card the visa card the mastercard and so the virtual card is just like the digital copy of that physical card just like we have the physical health insurance card and then we have the virtual card that you can also use to access all the services the physical provides as well and so with a virtual card all you need to do is to enter your details and boom the payment is done automatically just that this time you do not have in your possession an actual physical card you can walk to the atm and withdraw money but then still with a virtual card you can even do basic things like payments online withdrawing money to your momo account from your bank balance and so much more and so without so much wasting of your time let's just get into the first step so the thing with credit cards either the physical credit card or the virtual card that we're going to learn how to create in this video is that you need a financial institution to host your money to put money in to fund those cards and so whether you're using the digital card or the physical card you're going to need some sort of a financial institution to create a bank account or an account with that financial service provider and they would in turn give you the virtual card or the physical card and so in this first step we're going to make use of the ghana commercial bank app you know the gcb app is one of the most important and nicest apps that i have used also in the country gcb is one very most prominent app provider in the country or banking service provider in the country and so if you do not have the app you just need to go into your play store or your app store and search for gcb mobile app and then click on install once you're done installing you open it and this is the similar interface you see on your phone now if you already have an account that is if you've created a gcb mobile app account before or if you've ever logged in with your gcb mobile app you can just enter your details or if you have not done that before i need you to go here and then click on register down here you're going to register a new account and so for the sake of this tutorial we're going to try to create a new account and what this is going to do is that it is going to create a new bank account with gcb and you are going to intend to use that as a way to get the virtual credit card so you can click on get started or if you don't want any long you can just skip this by clicking on the skip button here and then you're going to be greeted with this menu it says bank account with ghana card so you're going to verify your accounts linked with ghana card that is if you have a gcb account already linked to your ghana card you just need to just enter your ghana card details and then it takes you to your bank account also you can also do it with gcb money and you can also as well open a gcb instant account and so i'm going to click on open gcb instant account and i'm going to click on next I'm going to read all of these things they are about 
and then i'm going to also click on next as well please make sure you read all of these things now to create the account you'd need your mobile phone number your email address your national id which is your ghana card number and then you select your title and then you check the button there and then you click on next follow all the prompts and you're going to create a bank account with gcb successfully but then i already have an account and so i wouldn't want to create a new gcb account and so i'm just going to log in into my existing gcb mobile account and then we'll see each other all right so here am i in the gcb mobile app this is the interface of the app this is how everything looks like very simple very sleek interface and there's quite a lot of things that you can do using the gcb mobile app but then for the sake of this tutorial we're going to look at how to create the virtual card and then use it for our transactions and our online payments so and so what we are going to do is we are going to come over here to cards yes yeah, so we're going to click on cards and i'll just show you all the cards that you have whether you have a physical card or a virtual card and so as you can see there is the gcb debit cards gcb prepaid cards and then the gcb virtual cards what we are interested in right now is to create a virtual card and so we are going to click on the virtual card as well so just give it a few seconds to load and when we are into the virtual card menu we'll just fill in some small details to get our virtual card as you can see i already have a virtual card but then you can also request a new card but then if you do not have a virtual card already you're going to see just the request a virtual card option here and so i'm going to click on request a virtual card or a new virtual card and this shows me my accounts and my account balance here I just need to select the account if i have more than one account on the device i select which account i want the virtual card to be linked in and then i click on the check button here and i click on submit once i click on submit it gives me this review and confirm screen where i have to confirm my account the card details and the amount details that has to be on the card now gcb charges just one ghana cd for the creation of the virtual card and so once you're done you can just click on confirm and once you confirm it you are good to go and so back to the card screen when you have successfully created your account you'd see it here and you'd see the number of virtual cards that you have already created with your account so i'm just going to use the one i have already created i click on it and then you click on view and it shows you the information on your card which is the expiry dates the card number the amount and then you can also click on view details to look at the cvv and other confidential details as well but then for the sake of this tutorial i wouldn't go there and so these details are what you need to be able to use to pay for your services or your goods online and on this screen you can also block the card as you mean it's has been leaked online or there's a problem on it you can block the card you can adjust card limits and you can top up the credit card as well and so that's that is just how the gcb mobile banking system works now there are two other systems that i'm going to show you here not only the gcb is just one of them there are other two ways that you can also create a virtual card and so the second one is by using an app called accrue yes you heard me right okay and so we're going to open this app and then we're going to create an account and we're going to log in and create the virtual account so welcome back sign in with your accrue account to continue and so if you already have an accrue account all you need to do is to come here and then enter your details but then you can also click back and then it takes you to the screen where you can basically create an account if you do not have an account already i already showed you that because i have already created an account but then let's just start afresh by creating a new account so you just click on create a new account and then you choose to continue with your google or continue with your email of course we're going to continue with our google account which is the most simplest one yet and then we're going to log in with our google account and fill in the details and so it's going to take the details from your google account to actually create the account for you and so i'm just going to select my google account as the pop-up appears and shows me the list of google accounts that i have 
and we are just going to wait for it to finish loading and we are going to proceed into the next step and so here am i in my accru account currently this is how the interface looks like and over here it also offers similar financial services but in this video is not about accru neither is this video sponsored and so i'm not going to actually walk you through the interface of the house but then let's just stick to the topic of this video all we want to do is to come over here to cards here and then we're going to create a virtual card and so over here you can either create a virtual card or a gift card and as you can see zero credit cards we need a virtual card right now not a gift card and so you can click on create a virtual card and then over here it says that the creation fee is three dollars the funding fee is one dollar and the monthly maintenance fee is one dollar so and so you need three dollars to create the virtual card and then you are going to fund it or you're going to put an amount of one dollar on it and then every month they are going to charge you one dollar to maintain your virtual card for you and so yeah you can compare all the three methods and then choose your best and so once you're done here you can just click here create your card and basically what you're going to do is to fill in the details about you your card what you'd want to call the card how much you'd want to fund it with and basically that is that all you need to do is to just put money inside your accrue account and you are good to go currently i do not have any funds on it yet and so you can just follow the steps and you'll be good to go now let's look at the the third step right here is using an app called eversend it's also just a financial service accrue that we just saw but then this time it's a completely different app called eversend that we are also going to use most of these apps the steps are quite similar and so we can be able to you know just go on and use it and so i'm just going to be skipping all these parts and you know enter your email address and so once you're here you're just going to fill in your details to create your ever send account and so country i'm just going to select my country here remember not all the countries are here you can only do this when you are in turkey uganda united arab emirates united kingdom united states zambia and zimbabwe and so this is for those of us who are watching outside ghana and want to create the virtual account if you are in any of these countries you can select it but currently i am not in any of these countries i am in ghana and so i wouldn't be able to verify with a uk number or a ghana number right here so just follow the steps once you're registered once you're done registering it's just similar steps like the ghana commercial bank app and the accru app and you go to cards and then you fill in your details and you are good to go and so ladies and gentlemen there you have it three ways to create a virtual card in ghana number one was using the gcb app very simple and straightforward way you just need to set up your gcb account if you already have an account you log in if you do not have an account you create a new account and then you can create a card there and they charge one cd for just creating the account for you and that is that and then we also looked at accru where you can also log in with your G gmail or your email details and then you can create a card where they charge some little amount of money for the account creation and maintenance and then we looked at the last one which is eversend which is currently not in ghana but then for those of us who are not in ghana who are watching from the other parts of the world and so which one of them is your favorite would you like to try any one of them personally my favorite is the virtual is the virtual card from the gcb mobile app i've used it and it has helped me so many times countless times and so let me know what you think was this video helpful for you do you think it is worth watching please give us a thumbs up and if you found this content helpful and you want more awesome content like this subscribe and put us on post notifications so that whenever we drop more awesome content like this you would be notified also if there's any questions any comments any suggestions please drop them in the comment section as usual we reply to all of them and we'll try our best to reply to all of them and so ladies and gentlemen that is all for this video i'll catch you guys in the next one my name is apia mera i'll see you another time ciao